Imagine setting your sights on the entire world, dreaming of ruling all its kingdoms. This was the ambition of Alexander the Great, but even he faced limitations. In the 4th century before the Common Era, a young man ascended to the throne of Macedonia, with a dream larger than life itself. His name was Alexander, and his ambition was nothing less than the domination of the entire known world. From the age of 20, Alexander embarked on a decade-long campaign of conquest that would forever alter the course of human history. His military genius and indomitable will propelled him from victory to victory. From the sands of Egypt to the mountains of Persia and the plains of India, there was no land he did not wish to claim, no people he did not desire to rule. At the peak of his power, Alexander's empire stretched over two million square miles, a vast tapestry of cultures, languages, and peoples. Under his rule, Greek ideas and customs intermingled with those of the East, sparking an era of cultural and intellectual exchange that would later be known as the Hellenistic period. But even as Alexander stood triumphant over the world he had conquered, the dream of total domination eluded him. For the world was not just a vast expanse of land and sea but a complex web of human societies, each with their own customs, beliefs, and systems of governance. Alexander's dream was not just to conquer but to integrate these diverse cultures into a single unified empire under his rule. But the practical realities of managing such a vast and diverse empire posed challenges that even Alexander could not overcome. Resistance emerged from within his own ranks and from the territories he had conquered. Logistical difficulties mounted as his armies marched further and further from home. And the continuous strain of warfare took a toll on Alexander himself, both physically and mentally. Alexander's dream of world domination was as grand as his achievements were impressive. But the world was too big, even for Alexander. His dream remained just that, a dream, revealing the limits even the greatest of conquerors must face. Maintaining an empire spanning continents was no easy task. Let's delve into the logistical challenges Alexander faced. Alexander the Great's empire stretched from Greece to Egypt, across Persia, and even to the doorstep of India, no small feat in a world without modern transportation or communication technologies. The sheer scale of the territory he controlled presented a logistical nightmare. Supply chains were among the most critical and complex aspects of Alexander's military operations, Resources had to be moved across vast distances, often through challenging terrains and hostile territories. Can you imagine transporting food, weapons, and other essential supplies for thousands of soldiers over thousands of miles, using only animals and human labor? The logistical complexity was staggering. Not only did Alexander have to ensure his armies were well-fed and well-armed, but he also had to maintain a steady flow of information across his empire. Communication, or rather the lack thereof, was a constant challenge. Messages had to be relayed by horseback or on foot, meaning that critical information could take weeks, if not months, to reach its destination. This delay in communication often led to strategic missteps and lost opportunities. Lastly, the strain on his soldiers and resources was immense. Alexander's men were often away from their families for years, marching through deserts, mountains, and foreign lands. The physical and emotional toll was significant, leading to desertions, mutinies, and a general decrease in morale over time. The drain on resources was equally challenging. Conquering new territories required huge amounts of resources, both human and material, and once a territory was conquered, it had to be garrisoned and administered, further stretching Alexander's resources thin. The more territory Alexander conquered, the more his logistical challenges compounded. The dream of a world empire was becoming increasingly difficult to sustain, and the logistical challenges were beginning to take their toll. Even as Alexander continued to push his armies forward the cracks in his empire were starting to show. Alexander was a formidable conqueror, but controlling the conquered was another story. As Alexander's empire expanded his challenges multiplied. Every new territory meant new cultures, new traditions, and new resistance to his rule. The regions Alexander conquered were not empty lands waiting for his rule. They were rich with diverse cultures and strong identities. The Persians, Egyptians, Indians, each had their unique ways of life and governance. Alexander's approach to ruling these lands was often seen as oppressive and foreign. This led to increasing resistance and rebellion within his expanding territories. Take Bactria, for example. A region in Central Asia, Bactria was a crucial part of Alexander's empire. 
but it was also home to one of the most persistent rebellions against his rule. The Bactrians, unaccustomed to Macedonian rule and unwilling to accept a foreign king, rose in revolt not long after Alexander's conquest. This rebellion was not an isolated incident. Across the empire, from the farthest reaches of India to the heart of Persia, discontent simmered. Alexander's soldiers, wearied by years of continuous battle, found themselves fighting not just to conquer but to maintain control. The rebellions were not just military, they were cultural, they were ideological. People resisted the imposition of a foreign culture of laws and practices that were alien to them. They fought to preserve their way of life, their identity. But Alexander the visionary persisted. He tried to integrate these diverse cultures into his empire, to create a fusion of East and West. He adopted Persian customs, married a Bactrian princess, even encouraged his soldiers to take local wives. Yet, these attempts often led to more discontent, both among his Macedonian soldiers and the local populations. In the end, Alexander's empire was not just a map of territories won in battle, it was a patchwork of cultures, of peoples, each with their own identities, their own dreams, and it was these dreams, as much as the spears and arrows, that Alexander found hardest to conquer. Alexander won battles, but winning hearts and minds was another matter entirely. Beyond the physical battles, Alexander waged a war within himself. A story of conquest is more than just the tally of victories and defeats. It's also about the toll it takes on the conqueror. Alexander the Great was no exception. Imagine being at the helm of a relentless military campaign, leading your troops through uncharted territories, facing resistance and rebellion at every turn. This continuous warfare was not only physically grueling, but also mentally taxing. The strain of leadership, the weight of responsibility, and the constant threat of defeat would have been immense. Alexander, known for his indomitable spirit and unwavering resolve, was not immune to these pressures. His health began to decline, a result of years of hard campaigning, harsh climates, and battlefield injuries. Chronic fatigue, recurring fevers, and debilitating wounds were his constant companions. Yet he pushed on, driven by his ambition to conquer the known world. But the physical toll was only half the battle. The psychological strain of maintaining control over a vast and diverse empire was equally challenging. Alexander had to grapple with the realities of ruling over different cultures, languages, and legal systems. The constant need for strategic decisions, managing dissent, and maintaining morale among his troops would have been mentally exhausting. Then there were the personal sacrifices. The relentless pursuit of his dream left him little time for personal life or leisure. His relationships strained, and he was often isolated from his friends and family. The loneliness of leadership, the constant scrutiny, and the burden of expectations would have worn down even the most resilient of spirits. Despite all this, Alexander's ambition never faltered. His vision of a world united under his rule remained undimmed, even as his health and mental state deteriorated. But ambition, however great, is not immune to the realities of the human condition. The toll of continuous warfare, the physical and psychological strains of leadership, and the personal sacrifices required all played a part in limiting Alexander's pursuit of world domination. Even the strongest warriors are not immune to the ravages of time and relentless ambition. Alexander the Great was a testament to this, a man whose dreams outpaced his mortal capabilities, reminding us that even the greatest of conquerors are, in the end, only human. Alexander dreamed of a unified world under his rule, but the realities of the ancient world were far more complex. Imagine the audacious vision of a young Macedonian king, dreaming of a world united under his banner, a world where Greek culture, philosophy, and governance would be the norm. This was the grand vision of Alexander the Great, a vision that propelled him to conquer vast territories, from Egypt to Persia and beyond. However, governing a vast empire, especially one as diverse as Alexander's, was no mean feat. The empire was a melting pot of cultures, languages, and legal systems. It stretched from Europe to Asia, encompassing people who had little in common besides their new Macedonian ruler. Alexander made efforts to integrate these cultures, often adopting local customs and even marrying a Persian princess. Yet the challenges were prodigious, and the unity Alexander sought often proved elusive. This brings us to the concept of overreach. In his ambition, Alexander might have stretched his capabilities too thin. Maintaining control over such vast distances, ensuring effective communication, integrating diverse cultures, 
and managing the logistical nightmare of supplying his armies, all these tasks were monumental, even for a leader as capable as Alexander. His vision, grand as it was, was perhaps too grand for the realities of the ancient world. The limitations of communication and transportation, the diversity of cultures and languages under his rule, and the sheer size of his empire all posed significant challenges to his dream of a unified world. The story of Alexander serves as a reminder that even the most ambitious visions can be hampered by practical realities. It's a lesson in the dangers of overreaching, of the gap that can exist between vision and reality, ambition and capability. Alexander's dream was grand, but even the greatest dreams have their limits. The young king's vision of a unified world remained largely unfulfilled, but his legacy endures, a testament to his ambition, his leadership, and his place in the annals of history.